they see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty, trying to catch me riding dirty, trying to catch me riding dirty, trying to catch me riding dirty. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so we're at Sprouts right now. We're going to do a grocery stop. It's month two of prep, so let's go check it out. turkey that's 99% lean so then I have to end up coming back and getting more but that should do for now um, yeah so I know this shit can taste kind of um, but we got to spice it up with some seasoning and shit so I'll show you guys what I use to make it taste a little better Okay, so this is where things get a little bit dangerous. So that's the reason I usually get almonds is the fact that I won't overeat those. Like peanuts or cashews, I'll definitely overeat those, like no doubt. And then you have to make sure. So I like roasted almonds, but a lot of the almonds, they end up putting oil on. So you have to make, or all the nuts, they usually put oil on. So you have to look at the ingredients and make sure they don't add oil because that makes them even more calorie dense than they already are. So I'm just gonna get regular almonds. Even though I love roasted almonds, I mean, there it has oil in them. So you might not think, and then you're like, these taste so much better than raw almonds, but in fact, they're. Let's see, even the calorie, 170 calories for a fourth a cup. For them. All this money don't mean shit. You ain't got nobody to share it with. Love rules the world. You feel me? Switch it up a 
little bit. How fun. Broccoli and spinach. Hey. Not part of my diet. flavors to choose from so you guys don't get sick of one flavor. It definitely curbs sweet craving that you, if you might have it. And so what I'll do with uh, my chicken and my rice is put chicken stock just because it makes it taste better. It's just a lot of sodium so if you're concerned about sodium then you might not want to do this. But remember adding sodium to food doesn't add calories. It's not going to make you gain weight because you have sodium. It might make you hold water if you're not drinking enough water for the amount of sodium you have. But it definitely save, it's a savior for me when it comes to adding um, flavor to my food. So another option you have is mustard. I really love using mustard. And the good thing about it is there's zero calorie like different options you can have in terms of taste and flavor. So you should try some different flavors, see what you guys like. I also like ketchup. Um, I take advantage of this though. So that's the only thing. You gotta be careful because it still is calories. Uh, so. Just be careful with this if you get started on it. Sometimes I'll mix ketchup and mustard just so, you know, it's not too, too much. Alrighty, so another thing, a hack, is to always have protein bars on hand or something kind of lower calorie that's macro friendly. Just so if the temptation occurs, you have something with you if you go to like parties or whatever. Um, so my favorite protein bar in terms of flavor and macros, I love this shit. I'm addicted to this. So this is one of my favorite. There's obviously better tasting bars, like another one um, are the Power Crunch bars. My God, I love these. But they're pretty much a cookie. I mean, let's be honest, a little bit of protein, but it's better than going out and splurging on something else. So definitely like have these in your car, have these you know at, at your house just in case. Yeah, so let me get some of these. And I love like pretty much all the flavors. There's nothing I don't like. It's made with pistachios. It's made with pistachios. 
ashes. Is it healthier? So now I'm home, I'm cooking everything and editing the video, it's like 11, yeah 11 at night, that's way past my bedtime. But anyways, I didn't add that you should get white rice as well, very cost effective. And also, under $50, although I spent more than $50, I think I spent 90 bucks, it's because I got so much meat, uh, more than I needed for the week. So if you would have just got a week's worth, you would have been under 50. And that is totally not that much money. I mean, in regards to like, let's say you got with a friend, you're spending 50 bucks. And I feel like the pros outweigh the cons. You're saving money, you're doing it for health, as well as you're gonna totally see a transformation in your body if you eat really healthy. So it's a win if you eat like this. Um, you know, you can always get other foods, but just making your food at home is just so worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, kind of got a little bit of inspiration, although it's not too exciting of a meal plan, or it just motivates you to go and at least make some healthier uh, choices. So hope you guys enjoy, subscribe, ask any questions below that you have for me, and good night.